this morning heavenly father we come before you this morning we want to thank you lord god heavenly father for this gracious opportunity to come before your children lord to come before your presence lord god above all heavenly father you are the you are the guest of the guest of honor in this place lord god come into our hearts lord god heavenly father by the preaching of the word heavenly father as a brother was saying the bible says whilst peter yet speck the holy ghost fell on them lord god almighty give grace this morning guests of hell give way make way for liberty we're coming in the name of the lord this morning heavenly father we heavenly father we come lord god almighty not to beg the enemy but lord the enemy has to go heavenly father because the weapons of our welfare are not carnal they are mightier in god with the pulling down of strongholds casting down imaginations every high thing that exhausts itself before the lord we bring it down into captivity to the obedience of christ heavenly father you said that you shall receive power when the holy ghost is come upon you and you shall be my witnesses in judea jerusalem samaria and even to the end of the world give grace this morning lord god almighty there's people here who are sick heavenly father may the preaching of the word bring a comfort heavenly father there is weary knees here feeble hands may they be lifted this morning heavenly father by the preaching of the word heavenly father as it was in the very beginning but your servant tells us lord god that the logos heavenly father was brooding heavenly father lord god over heavenly father said lord god to bring forth that which was spoken give grace lord god we pray for every other gathering lord we are not the only gathering may your spirit be in attendance lord god to perform that which is spoken in the written word in jesus name we pray amen and amen hallelujah I greet you saints in the precious name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah are you glad this morning to be in the house of the lord amen praise the lord amen i believe time amen is not on our side what time do we stop brother valentine hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah can i stop uh, uh in one hour 15 minutes is that okay amen praise the lord may god give us grace amen as we stand to our feet let us try john chapter 16 hallelujah are you happy to be in the house of the lord amen. hallelujah amen i believe we can greet each other outside a little more i see good friends over here but let us just get into the word for a while john chapter 16 verse 5 hallelujah i was so inspired if you knew what the lord had laid on my heart you were going to be jumping amen when brother valentine was speaking because we want to talk about the dispensation of the holy ghost do you believe that we're in the dispensation of the holy ghost hallelujah oh my god is perfected in threes do we have believers here amen. hallelujah if i say something that sounds like a spoken that sounds like it's from the spoken word and you say amen you're not disturbing me amen. hallelujah amen. so if i say something that sounds like you say it's a court wait, don't wait for the brother to put it here amen. it could be a court I'm, I'm i'm giving you already amen. so if you say amen you are not disturbing me amen. hallelujah god is perfected in threes amen. doesn't sound like a court hallelujah three is perfection isn't that so one is unity two is witness three is perfection four is deliverance five is grace six is man seven is completion eight is eternity hallelujah oh blessed be the name of the lord hallelujah 40 is judgment hallelujah 40 hallelujah is temptation do you believe that 50 is jubilee do you have believers here you must be jumping already because uh, we we, 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 oh, we, I'm still greeting. Hallelujah. We have not started preaching yet. But you know, how do you greet egos? Hallelujah. Do we have chickens here? Woo. You know, if you want to greet an ego, you must throw some meat. Hallelujah. The chicken will run away from the meat. But the ego will go for the meat. I'm still greeting and I see people like this. Hallelujah. I said 50 is Jubilee. Amen. Jubilee means you are released. Amen. Jubilee means you are free. Amen. I said 3 means perfection. Amen. Hallelujah. The book, the book says he has perfected. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the book of Hebrews chapter 9. Amen. You are perfected in Jesus. 
Do you believe that this morning? The Holy Ghost. Oh, brother, I don't want to run ahead of myself. But do you realize that oh, in the fatherhood, God was over us. In the sonship, God was with us, walking with us. The Bible says we handled God. Hallelujah. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. Do you know what Brother Branham says? We touched God. Yes. <sighs> Brother. Hallelujah. Jesus was God in flesh. We handled God. Oh, but I have good news for you. We are more than handling God this morning. We are becoming God. God is coming into you. So that you can become God. Brother, do you know how many force that is? That devil cannot touch that wire. Ooh, hallelujah. John chapter 16 verse 5 says, but, I, but now I go my way to him that sent me. And none of you ask me whither, whither thou goest. Whither goest thou? But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your heart. They were troubled when Jesus was leaving. They didn't know that it was a promotion. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. When Jesus was leaving, it was for the Holy Ghost to come. <laughs> Listen what the Bible says here. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is good for you that Jesus go. So that the Holy Ghost can come into you. Hallelujah. That I may go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Hallelujah. 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 You may take a seat this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Let us just thank the Lord for the scripture. Lord, Heavenly Father, we have read your word. Here is your waiting audience, Lord. I cannot do anything. I cannot say anything to Heavenly Father to bring that which you wanted to be spoken this morning. Help me, Lord God, to just come out of the way so that you can speak to someone this morning. That by the end of the service, Lord, someone might have a closer walk with you. We have heard about baptisms. Lord God, what they need to hear this morning is that the promises unto them and to them that are far off even as many as our Lord our God shall call. Give grace this morning. Encourage the believer. Lord God may he find may she find a position in the body of the Lord Jesus. We thank you Father. In Jesus name we pray. Bring the sinner back home. In Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. So I believe we have already laid some ground, ground rules. Brother, sister, hallelujah. If you say amen, you are not disturbing me. You know, a preacher is like a dog. Hallelujah. You are the hunter. You want to go home with meat. Hallelujah. If you are going to put your pocket, hands in the pocket and you act like a gentleman, you will go and eat veggies. I say the preacher is a dog. Hallelujah! You are hunting. You must say, catch him. If you say, amen, you are saying, catch him. But if you are going to fasten your buttons and you sit like a gentleman, you go home without meat. Hallelujah. Catch him, Fritz. Does it sound like a court? <laughs> catch him, Fritz. Hallelujah. You know, I, 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 I like it. When, 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 you know, you can see people who are reading the book. When they say something in the spoken word, someone is wondering, where is that coming from? But you see someone laughing. They know it's in the book. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But Bob said he had a dog called Fritz. Yes. Oh, someone did not even get it. We talked about Fritz sometime already. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 
So don't wait for the court to come here. Hallelujah, brother, sister. Okay, let's start. So when we've read, my brother, oh, this is beautiful. How many of us have listened to the message? Why are people so tossed about? Amen. Hallelujah. How many of us have listened to the message, a hidden life in Christ? Amen. How many of us have listened to the message, the inter, the interview? Amen. That's where I'm taking my inspiration. Amen. Hallelujah. So Brother Branham talks about three places. Hallelujah. Typing with the children of Israel. They all ate manna. Hallelujah. They ate manna in the outer court. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But the manna in the outer court was a manna that would vanish. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, I'm moving very fast. If you, you know, if you don't do your homework and you come to class, you miss a lot of things. I'm a, I'm, I'm a lecturer. I'm a teacher. Hallelujah. So the homework is to read your spoken word. If you don't read the spoken word and come to church, you miss a lot of things. Amen. We are going to move very fast. Amen. I'm assuming that you are doing your homework. I'm assuming that you are listening to the tape. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Branham talks about the outer court. That the manna would fall and vanish about 9 o'clock. Is that correct? The manna would vanish around 9 a.m. Hallelujah. Because that manna was temporary. Hallelujah. That was happening in the outer court. Then there was an inner court. Hallelujah. Where there were seven golden candlesticks. Hallelujah. It was more than the natural light. Because at night there was light. But there would come a time where the, where the lampstands would, would smoke. There would come a time where one of the lights would go off. And you have to take from the neighbor. Is that correct? It was nothing but the stage of sanctification. The stage of Wesley. Which was a little higher than Luther. Hallelujah. Amen. The manna, hallelujah, Amen. was falling. Uh, yes, for everybody. Everyone who was circumcised would eat the manna. Amen. Is that correct? Amen. But the manna that was falling outside would vanish. Amen. Are we together? Amen. That manna, my brother, my sister, it was a manna where you come to church, you feel good. When you come church, you, your experience is gone. When Pastor Nguyen is here, you feel good. When he's not here, your experience is gone. Yes, you're eating manna, but you're eating manna from the outer court. Are we together? Well, we're moving very fast. But you can, you, you can see where we're going, right? Hallelujah. So within, hallelujah, within the, from the outer court to the inner court, there was a veil. It was the first veil. Hallelujah. It was the first veil. The Bible talks about two veils. It talks about the veil from the outer court to the inner court. That's the book of Hebrews chapter 8. Paul says, all the things we have said, this is the summary. There was a tabernacle made. Oh, let us go to the book of Hebrews. Oh, brother, I, I think one hour, 15 minutes was too much. I can see that here we are not going to preach long. It looks like someone is reading the book here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hebrews chapter 8. The Bible says, Now, of the things which we have spoken, this is the sum. We have such an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty. Are we together? Amen. A minister of the sanctuary. Then Paul goes on there. Hallelujah. You can read. He talks about ordinances. He talks about religious sacrifices and all that. If you want to get a summary of this or rather the whole picture, go to the Levitical book there. Hallelujah. You will hear about all hallelujah, the procedures to get into the holy place. Are we together? The priest will go, hallelujah, in the inner court. But only the high priest. Once every year. Not without blood. Are we together? He had to carry the blood of the lamb before him. Ooh. Hallelujah. This Holy Ghost gospel is dripping with blood, brother. Young man, young boy. This Holy Ghost gospel is dripping with blood. When you go to high school, carry the blood of Jesus before you. Hallelujah. 
when you get into the taxi sister put the ring first the token that you are married put the ring first don't leave the ring at home now hallelujah 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 it's not part of my nose but maybe someone needed that hallelujah young sister when you go to high school don't do this to the skate you know what I'm talking about young sisters you know what I'm talking about they like to you know the skate is brought along it comes here and when they're at school they do this hallelujah hallelujah let the blood of Jesus go before you why am I speaking like this I know what I'm talking about I was in boarding school for many years you know when you get to boarding school the first thing you must do if you're a brother tell everybody that you are the pastor there tell them that if you need prayer come to me hallelujah hallelujah tell them that me I'm the pastor here I don't drink I don't smoke I don't do girlfriends I'm the pastor here you know when you fall like brother Valentine was saying if for some reason the devil tempts you and you find yourself somewhere where they are they will tell you no pastor leave the drinking to us your testimony will go before you so Aaron hallelujah oh Jesus oh I feel like saying something that I don't always say oh brother do you know Moses went into the pillar of fire all right there's someone maybe here who thinks that we are Pentecostals. We are more than Pentecostals. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let, let me explain what I'm saying. You know, Aaron could not go into the Holy Hall of Holies without the blood of the Lamb. Going there without the blood was death. But Moses could walk into the pillar of fire for 40 days and 40 nights the mountain was on fire and here a man is walking into the fire what confidence does someone have to say brother Branham was wrong I think this was for preachers you know, when you're dealing with a prophet, people don't realize what we're dealing with. <laughs> oh, brother. You know, Aaron, they had to put a chain. Yes. Hallelujah! Amen. Brother, I feel like preaching now. They had to put a chain. But Abraham says in the message, why are people so tossed about? They had to strip Aaron before he could go into the Holy of Holies. They had to him of his own clothes yeah. if he was wearing uh, T.M. Lewin whatever brand you can talk about brands if he was wearing Gucci whatever they had to strip him they had to put a blue apron on him yeah. hallelujah yeah. hallelujah blue being a color of God God hallelujah yeah. they had to strip him he had to be dressed right he had to walk right. He had to be anointed with the rose of Sharon. Yes. Yes. He had to get a fragrance. Amen. There's nothing wrong about perfume. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Especially we brothers. We do a lot of work, you know. Hallelujah. Amen. We do a lot of work. Hallelujah. Amen. We preach, we do this. Uh, put a little fragrance, brother. A rose of Sharon. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Some brothers think that a perfume is for the sisters only. No, brother. You can be anointed by the rose of Sharon. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Amen. But they had to put a chain on Aaron. 
they put a bell. Hallelujah. As Aaron was walking into the Holy of Holies, it would cry, Holy, 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 unto the Lord. Glory. Holy, Holy, Holy. That's why our sisters wear like women. They don't dress tight. One brother says, Sister, put a little air in the dress. Hallelujah. One brother said, Sister, buy one size bigger. If you wear 32, buy 33. Holy, holy, holy unto the Lord. Brother, you might think these things were not, we are not supposed to say it in a message, church. Brother, if these things are there. Hallelujah. Until it's difficult for the deacons. Because sometimes a sister who dresses like that, she also has an attitude, you know. And she has a good job. <laughs> She speaks like the queen. I'm not looking around now. I'm looking at Brother Matimbe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because if I look around Brother Matimbe, they will tell Brother Valentine, don't bring that preacher again. He was talking about me. I'm looking at the deacon here. God bless you, Brother Matimbe. I'm making your job easier. Hallelujah. Sisters, holy, holy, holy unto the Lord. Hallelujah, brothers also these days. A brother will come to church like this. Hallelujah, look at me. Hallelujah, don't, don't be funny now. Can you look at me? A brother. Hallelujah. Can you see me? He comes to church like this. And you ask him, brother, where are you going? He says, I'm, going, I'm, I'm late to church. I'm the song leader. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm not talking about the elder here, my, my friend, Brother Sharit. I'm talking about our young brothers. Hallelujah, brother. Put some space. Holy, holy, holy unto the Lord. You say, brother, talk about the Holy of Holies. Talk about Aaron. I'm talking about you also. The way to the Holy of Holies. Is past justification, sanctification. We are going there. Are we together? You know some of the things that you used to think that is only for sisters, tight dresses. It's for brothers also these days. Ah, brother. Hallelujah. May God help us. Oh, God give us grace this morning. So they put a chain on. That was a Samaria. Hallelujah. It's not part of the notes. But sometimes God knows your need. Hallelujah. They put a chain on Aaron. Hallelujah. You know what was the chain for? Brother Nico. You know what was the chain for? The chain. Oh, hallelujah. Do you know it was a day of atonement? Yom Kopa. Yom Kopa. On the day of atonement. This is the day that Aaron only or a high priest only could get in the holy of holies do you know that there would be a substitute high priest we're not playing brother Jesus they would have a substitute high priest hallelujah because there was a possibility that Aaron could have defiled himself. If Aaron had defiled himself, he would die. And there was a substitute high priest ready for service on the day of atonement. Brother, we are not playing. This is not a denomination. That's why there's deacons. That's why there's sometimes an assistant. Brother, there's a substitute. Oh, are we together? Amen. Okay. Amen. Okay. Amen. You know, in denominations, you can do anything you want to do as a pastor and become an apostle and become everything. But in the message, brother, there's a substitute. 
Are we together? Do you know God can do without you? God can do without me. Hallelujah. God could do without Aaron. Are we together? So they put a chain on Aaron. Just in case Aaron dies. They pull him out. And the service continues. Are we together? Song leader, preacher, if you mess up your life, you will be pulled out. And the service continues. Are we together? Sometimes we get so big where we think God cannot do without us. Brother Barnum says that in the message influence. He says many preachers are even found drunk behind the pulpit. In the message influence. Brother Barnum says some preachers are even accused of being drunk behind the pulpit. And Brother Barnum was talking about Uziah. Says Uziah got lifted. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Brother, remember there's a chain behind you. You will be pulled out. And the service of the Lord will continue. Amen. Hallelujah. Go and ask a man called Uza. They were bringing the ark. They were bringing the ark back. Hallelujah. Pagatambi wipe up. They danced, brother. They danced because the ark was coming back. But in the midst of the dance, Aziakwaka Aziakwaki. People had to leave. Hallelujah. In the midst of the dance, brother. You know, one brother was on the keyboard. He started playing there. I'm a piano. Oh, brother. The people were happy. The ark is coming back. But in the meantime, they had not done according to the due order. Hallelujah. Brother, you can be gifted. But to watch the scripture. Amen. May God help us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hebrews chapter 9. Verse 1. You can continue with verse 8. Chapter 8. Verse chapter 9 says. Then verily. Oh brother I feel like we are starting now. Then verily. The first covenant. Had also ordinances of divine service. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh brother. They had ordinances of divine service and a worldly sanctuary. For there was a tabernacle made the first. Hallelujah. When was the candlestick? Hallelujah. So the first tabernacle had the candlestick. The outside is not counted. Hallelujah. We are not counting Egypt. We are starting from the wilderness. Hallelujah. Do you realize that there was no tabernacle in Egypt? The tabernacle was erected in the wilderness. That's why the tabernacle was mobile. <laughs> are we together? There was, a mobile, there was a need for a mobile tabernacle. Because God said to Moses, when you come out, you will worship me on this mountain. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 But Solomon had not been born. And the, 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 the oh, hallelujah. Yes. The real temple that was going to be like the physical temple was attached to this man called Solomon. Amen. Hallelujah. David is still to come. Jesse is still to come. But before that, in the wilderness, God says to Moses, do according to the pattern you saw up there. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And they erected a mobile tabernacle. Amen. And when this tabernacle was erected, they would have it in the middle. Why? It was the protection. Amen. Are we together? Amen. It was the book of Acts in the middle. You had Matthew there. You had Mark there. You had Luke there. You had John there. Hallelujah. You had the lion, the ox, the man, the 
face of the man and the flying eagle over there. Hallelujah, where are they? Where are we? We are before. Hallelujah, the sea of glass. Revelation chapter 4. Yes. Hallelujah. Before the sea of glass. Hallelujah, bro. There were four anointings, four living creatures. But Bob says, Hallelujah, King James. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. King James. Hallelujah. King, in as much as the best Bible we can have. But they didn't quite get it there. They talked about beasts. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But Bob, I think it goes to the revise or something on that scripture. And he says, No, it's not supposed to be beasts. It's supposed to be creatures. Living creatures. Amen. Hallelujah. Not to harm. Because a beast is made, is associated with harm. But the creature is associated with protection. Amen. Ezekiel saw them. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother, I feel like preaching now. Ezekiel saw them, Brother Charit. But did you know when Ezekiel saw them, they were moving. They were moving. Where were they coming from? From the Garden of Eden. They were put before. Oh, Jesus. You know, in the Garden of Eden, there were four cherubims that were put to guard the tree of life. But Bible said the tree of life should have been an altar where there was a lamb, where there was a blood sacrifice. Hallelujah. So all the four living creatures were guarding the tree of life. Hallelujah. It was those four anointings. Ooh, I don't hear the amen. I don't have time to put the court. But write the note, you'll find it in the spoken word. Well, I think it's Revelation chapter 4, part 3 or something. But Abraham says, Ezekiel saw them moving. Eyes within and without. They were moving in all direction. Hallelujah. Forward. They were, never, they were not going back. They were going forward. Hallelujah. But in the book of Revelation, what comes, sister? In the book of Revelation, chapter 4. Hallelujah. But Abraham says they had found their positions. I feel like maybe a minister must come and continue with this. Because I'm not doing justice on this one. Hallelujah, because this is not what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the gods at the moment, but we're not dealing with the gods. We're talking about the inner place. Please, someone help me. Brother Valentine, Brother Matimbe. Hallelujah. If the church is not exposed to this one, please, con someone continue. Hallelujah. On the living creatures. Hallelujah. They found their position in the book of Revelation chapter 4. Hallelujah. The ox. Hallelujah. Ready for sacrifice. The lion. Ready to charge. Hallelujah. The face of the man. Ready with. Hallelujah. With that shrewdness. Hallelujah. The flying eagle. You know sometimes we have pictures of eagles. And you put an eagle there like this. I don't like that eagle. Hallelujah. I like the flying one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible is specific. It said it was a flying eagle. Hallelujah. May God help us, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So those creatures, brother, they were guarding something. There was one on the throne. Hallelujah. Where is that throne? Where is that throne this morning? That throne is in your heart. Hallelujah. That's why Jacob saw a ladder. Woo. Well, forgive me. Forgive me if I become a bit excited. You know, there's sisters who cook food. And then they don't eat the food. You will say the food is nice. But you are not eating the food. I don't like your food. Hallelujah. What did you put in the food? For me to eat, you don't eat the food. Hallelujah. All I'm saying is, I'm a preacher who enjoys the sermon. Hallelujah. 
If you are not enjoying what we are saying, I'm enjoying it. Amen. Tell someone that if you are not enjoying, don't disturb me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother, it's good for the cook to enjoy their food. Amen. I'm not one of those humble or acting humble preachers who say, ah, no, I'm not enjoying what I'm preaching, but I'm enjoying it. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not here to cook only this morning. I'm here to eat also. Hallelujah. Are we together this morning? So what are we saying, my brother, my sister? We're saying Jacob saw a ladder. And when Jacob saw a ladder, brother Polly, he saw the ladder was hooked. Hallelujah. Brother Barnum says, every other ladder was sliding and sliding, slipping and sliding. But Jesus, when he was standing there, the ladder was hooked on the throne and it was hooked on the earth. This is a court. Oh, do you believe Malachi 4? If I bring a court, say amen. We are saying this morning, these angels right there where you are, ascending and descending. That ladder is hooked on the throne of God and it is hooked on your heart ascending with sorrow descending with joy ascending with problems descending with solution ascending and descending Woo! you know sometimes when people know when people know a bit about you which is good why you know you are a blessing when you go to outside of the country they don't know that you are an academic they hear you saying the spoken way. They believe it. Yeah. But sometimes someone thinks about you when they're coming. Oh, that professor again. They think, oh, that man is full of theory. Brother, we know what we are talking about. Yeah. These angels, the supernatural. Yeah. Do you realize that? But the bottom says, every man that is filled with the Holy Ghost is candidate to associate with the supernatural. Are we together? Amen. Ascending and descending. Amen. You live in a three-roomed house. Hallelujah. Is that correct? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You live in a three-roomed house. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a challenge for you, young brother. Hallelujah. You are making one room everything. There is nothing wrong with that. Hallelujah. But I'm saying that based on the quotation, you can claim three bedroom, three roomed house. <laughs> you are missing it. You are missing it. You are missing it, brother. I say it, but Branham says we live in a three roomed house. If you are living in a one roomed house, challenge the devil based on that court. He says you eat in the kitchen. That's justification. That's the outer court. Hallelujah. You commune in the dining. That's sanctification. That's that Wesley. Hallelujah. That's fellowship. Hallelujah. Water blood. Hallelujah. But you don't sleep in the bedroom, in the dining, brother. If you are doing that currently, that's not what you are supposed to do. You are not supposed to sleep in the dining, brother. I challenge that condition in the name of the Lord Jesus. How can you say amen when Brother Brown says you don't sleep in the dining, you sleep in the bedroom, and you are currently uh, listening to the tape, preparing the, bed, the, 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 the dining to sleep. joking brother I'm saying sometimes you miss what the spoken word is saying do you think do you think it's very difficult for God to give you a three roomed house he gave you a three roomed house hallelujah your body is the kitchen your spirit is the dining that's the way we fellowship in the spirit but you don't sleep in the spirit you must go to the soul that's where new life begins 
That's where the Shekinah. The pillar of fire. Hallelujah. Was hanging there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was saying to my wife, you know, before they had fridges, God had a, a good way of preserving man. The devil is always coping. Before you could go to Mall of Africa and the gates open like this, they opened like that for Peter coming out of prison. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There was man now on the outside. Hallelujah, it could vanish. Hallelujah, that man the priest maybe could bring it into the holy place and it could still rot. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, but when they took it in a golden pot, God speaking of deity, hallelujah, they took the man into the golden pot. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, you are a Christian. Oh, hallelujah, God bless you, sir. Hallelujah, yes, you are a Christian. But where are you? Hallelujah. Are you a Christian enjoying the watermelon and the garlic? Down there in Egypt. Are you a Christian with complaints? In the wilderness. Hallelujah, come further, brother, where the interlocking of the cherubims. Oh, is that brother nice son? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With the interlocking of the cherubims, brother. Hallelujah. When you are locked in there, you cannot be tossed about. You are locked in. The devil is locked out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has no access. Hallelujah. When Aaron came in there, hallelujah, it was soundproof. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You on a Monday, you choose 50 rand a time. Hallelujah. To call people that you heard that they talked about you. Hallelujah. 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 Someone here. Hallelujah. You juice a lot of a time to call people. I heard that you were talking about me. Sister, you are on the outside. Come in where there is a sheep skin and a goat skin. Where you can't hear from the world. The world can't hear from you. You are living in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. My brother, my sister. My brother, my sister. Do you realize that they had the Holy Ghost in the days of Paul? Hallelujah. In the days of Arrhenius, they had the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. But what happened along the way? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There was, hallelujah, a dark age. Hallelujah. Literally, it was dark ages. Hallelujah. Around about the time of Columba. Hallelujah. 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 The devil started eating from that tree. He ate the fruit. He ate the leaves. He ate the bark. Now he was going for the life. But thank God the life was hid in the roots. Hallelujah. The life was hid in the roots. Is that so? When the life was hid in the roots. Hallelujah. The church had organized. The church had married in Pegamos. Pegamos meaning marriage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The dark ages fully set in. In Titeria. What is that? A dominating woman. Sister, if you are dominating your husband, you are taking us back to Titaria. Can I have an amen from the sisters? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A dominating woman. Titaria. Hallelujah. We don't want to have sister Titarias here. Hallelujah. Can I have an amen again? Well, me, I can ask you to do a lot of things. But I don't preach here often. I come here once a year or something. So if I say, can I have another amen? It's, it's just for 22. <laughs> 
Maybe you see me again 2023. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, brother. Amen. Darkness was on the church. Hallelujah. The devil thought he had everything. Amen. But God sent a shoot. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. It brings me to the road of Aaron. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The road of Aaron. Brother, it was an almond tree that maybe people ate almonds from. Hallelujah. Someone came to build a house. Brother Sharid said, It's my land, this land. He, you know, what do you call in English to stamp? Go over, you know, remove the stamp. Hallelujah. Brother Sharid removed the almond tree. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel like preaching now. He removed the almond tree. Hallelujah. It was gone all over the place, brother. Aaron, hallelujah. When he was walking there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Going maybe to meet Moses. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Aaron was tired, maybe. He was older than Moses, you remember. Moses was about 80. Aaron about 84. He is an old man. He picks up a stick. Hallelujah. He starts walking around with this stick. It was just an ordinary almond stick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And when the time for service came, there's something about a stick, you know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You remember even the calling of Moses. There was a stick involved there. Hallelujah. When the stick of Moses was thrown onto the ground, hallelujah, it, it became a serpent. Amen. And Moses picked it by the tail according to the word of God. Amen. And it became a stick again. Amen. Hallelujah. The same stick of Moses could eat hallelujah, the snakes of Egypt. Amen. Yes. Amen. And all the, 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 all the, the, the most uh, vicious snakes of Egypt from the magicians were caught up into the stick of Moses. Oh. Brother, don't say Brother Farai was talking about sticks and now you come with a crooked stick next week. <laughs> Where are my apostle here? Those are types and shadows. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> hear me and hear me well, brother. You will come here with a crooked stick and say, the preacher said we must bring sticks. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sometimes it's good to be humorous. Some people are about to sleep already. You know how easy it is to sleep in church? But at home, you, sleep, you, you drink a sleeping tablet. It's the devil. If you feel like sleeping, just stand up and say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, my brother, my sister, the, oh, we're talking about, you know, the three stages. Are we together? Amen. So, the stick of Aaron. Aaron is appointed for service. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There was a time, hallelujah, that people disagreed with Moses and Aaron. Hallelujah. Amen. And God said, okay, Bring your sticks. <laughs> oh, brother. Amen. I don't even hear amen, even from the preachers. Amen. Must I go to the Bible to read the scripture? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't have time for that. You just write and find it in the Bible. God said, Bring your sticks. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Within 24 hours. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Is there someone here who is sick? Do you realize that within 24 hours Amen. you can be well? Amen. Is there someone here who is unemployed? Amen. Do you realize Amen. that within 24 hours Amen. you can be signing a contract? Amen. Is there someone here who is not married? Amen. Do you realize that within 24 hours Amen. you will be praying saying, Lord, is that, is that, your, is that your direction, Lord? Is that you, Lord? Do you realize that, sister? Do you realize that? If you walked in here to church, do you realize that within 24 hours, you could be sending a testimony to Brother Valentine, thank God for my car. Do you realize that? If you're backslidden, do you realize that within 24 hours? You 
going to be reading the seven seals again? Do you realize that? Amen. They brought the rod of Aaron. It passed through the holy place. Nothing happened. But they left it there. In the, in, a, in, a, in the very holy of holies. Within 24 hours. It was refreshed. Woo! This stick was old and dry. There is a dry stick somewhere here. Old and dry. But in the presence of the Shekinah. There is a refreshment. What was that? A bud. Hallelujah. It was refreshed. And it budded. Hallelujah. It budded. You know what is a bud? Young people. You talk about earbuds. You talk about uh, uh, what do you call these buds you put for the, from the phone. Is that correct? Let's speak their language. There's these small little gadgets nowadays where it's Bluetooth. They put it here. Do you know Brother Barnum saw that? Brother Barnum says, I see people with tubes listening to the tape. Maybe you, young brother, you're putting that tube and you listen to Kwaito. You are in the right place. I rebuke that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In that tube. Play good morning friends. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So it budded. Hallelujah. That was the second stage. It was refreshed. It budded. But that was not enough brother. It yielded almonds. The fruit. Hallelujah. Of what, that which was predestinated. Amen. Can you see what we are talking about? Amen. We are saying there is a fruit that God predestinated you to produce in this day. Amen. But before you can produce that fruit, a life worthy of the gospel, a life above reproach, a life worthy of the gospel, Amen. you must be refreshed first. In the presence of God. That's why I don't believe in. A brother gets converted today. Tomorrow is a preacher. Brother. Stay in the presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stay in the presence brother. Be refreshed man. Get some refreshment. Because your life is dry. And it's hard. You must bad first. Then you yield hormones. Hallelujah. So we're talking about this because we're talking about Luther. You remember? So Luther was a shoot. Hallelujah. Amen. But when you see a shoot, does that mean that the crop is already here? No. The crop is not there yet. But this is a potential. Hallelujah. This is a sign that what we what that which went into the ground is coming back. Hallelujah. So the same life that was with Paul. Hallelujah. The same life that was with Arrhenius was planted in the dark ages. Is it John chapter 12 where the Lord says, unless a corn of wheat dies, falls into the ground and die, it abides alone. Are we together? So, hallelujah. God started what we know as the reformation. Amen. Are we together? Yeah. The reformation. It was man. Hallelujah. Doing what? Man. Hallelujah. You remember we talked about the seven and the four anointings. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Be sure to connect everything now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I always tell students, sorry, I'm not making you my student. But I always tell students that you should not have a textbook mentality. You know, in the textbook, there's a chapter there. There's a chapter there. There's a chapter there. Are we together? But you, as a student, 
my students today. <laughs> you must connect everything we're talking about. Are we together? Okay. So you must you must bring everything together. Don't put a chapter there, a chapter there, a chapter otherwise you don't see the picture. We're saying those anointings. Hallelujah. The lion anointing had pushed forth the gospel in the days of St. Paul. It was the lion anointing. In the dark ages, it was the anointing of the ox. They were ready to die for the word. Are we together? If you say, I'll take off your head, they'll tell you, before you take off my head, you can even take my leg. I am ready. Hallelujah. It was an anointing, brother. An anointing. Hallelujah. Of sacrifice. But the Bible says, you can, at least if I say, but the Bible says, you can say amen. amen. I, I bring a lot of courts, and sometimes someone who doesn't read doesn't hear that he's a court. Hallelujah. The Bible says, you can only do something according to the anointing that is given. Are we together? So now, God had poured the anointing of sacrifice. Oh, glory. They were sacrificial, but they were bent on the stake. Everything happened to them. Sown asunder, whatever. Some of them, you know, even Hitler to the Jews, if you flip the coin, it goes to Israel as well. But Abraham says it was the same spirit, Brother Matimbe. But Abraham says it was the same spirit that was driving the Catholic Church in the Dark Ages. It's the same spirit that was on Hitler. Against the Jews. Amen. You can hear the preacher saying amen. amen. You know, some of the things you can hear, this is for preachers. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It was the same spirit, brother, that was on Hitler. The same spirit that was with the Catholic Church. Amen. Are we together? Amen. You read it, brother. I'm saying this for preachers, brother. Brother. Uh, shut it because I mean, uh, you know, sometimes song leaders don't want to read uh, the seven trumpets. The seven trumpets. Say, ah, who am I going to tell the seven trumpets? That's why Baba says this. There's the same anointing. Are we together? Oh, but brother, you know, when, when the devil comes in like a flood, you look for Moses and Elijah. Hallelujah. Oh, brother. Nice one. I was preaching about that, you know, in Ranfontaine the other time. Moses and Elijah. Oh, brother. You know, we're saying, just by the way, you know, we're saying, do you realize that they must be, they must be ready now to come? Yes. Moses and Elijah are waiting now for their ministry. Yes. Revelation chapter 11. But what is holding them back? Yes. The bride. Yes. We don't preach like that on Sundays, brother. Sundays we're visitors. If you invite me for a midweek, I can preach like that. <laughs> but this is for believers. Amen. But uh, we dilute a bit on Sunday. Because we're visitors. Is that so? <laughs> Hallelujah. So, brother, sister. Oh, we are about to close now. We're getting to the climax. We are saying, brother, the anointing that was on the believers was to give away their lives. Hallelujah. Amen. And God raised the standard a little. Yes. Hallelujah. He raised the standard a little. Although, Brother Banam tells us that the ox is the greatest anointing. Do you realize that? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> yes. Oh, brother. Okay. Okay. We know about the flying eagle. But the flying eagle, its power is in the wings. Okay. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you realize that the ox can do something that the ego cannot do on this earth. <laughs> the ego is taking us into the heavenlies. But whilst you are here on this earth, the greatest anointing you can ever have is humility. That's where, brothers, that's where some people miss it, you know. You think about the lion. You think about the ego. Yes, the lion rules in the jungle. But we're not in a jungle here. Yeah. You are a father. 
You're not in the jungle. That's why the ox <laughs> anointing will make you make a cup of tea for your wife. Can I have an amen from the brothers? Amen. The ox. He will say, brother, how can you speak like that? Brother can almost prepare his feast, you know. How can you speak like that? Your prophet put an apron, brother. When I said, can I have an amen from the sisters? Brothers were laughing. I am on you now, Polycarp. When last did you put an apron? When last did you put an apron? Did you put, brother? You feel a presence. The brother said, today. Thank you, brother. God bless you. God is never without a witness. He is an example. Brother, do you realize that some of the problems you are facing in your marriage is because of not wearing aprons? Ah, brother. I might, not know, I might not know your name over there. You might say, brother, why do you speak like that? You know, I spoke, I spoke like this in Tanzania the other time, brother Matimbe. When I was invited there, I said, brothers, you see, brother, sometimes he wears the best suit. But the wife, no dress, brother. I said, brother, that's not the message we believed. You know, you could feel it, you know, in an African, in a pure African setup. You know, you could feel it. <laughs> that someone is not happy with this. And I, I, brother, we dwelt on that. We hammered that thing, brother. We said, brother, hallelujah, hallelujah. That church, it was around Easter term, brother Mlamoli. And we're preaching, it was kind of a series, you know. We talked about the Jehovah of the Old Testament. is the Jesus of the New. We talked about Christ, the hope of glory. Then we talked about the bride. I think the last sermon was about the bride. So we're saying, the Jehovah is the same thing we're talking about today. Can you connect the dots? The Jehovah who was the father, became Jesus. Now he is the Holy Ghost. Amen. And when he is the Holy Ghost, he is in a feminist designation. Amen. I don't hear the amen. amen. That's a quote from the church ages. Yes. But the Bonham says, he is feminist in designation. Amen. Are we together? Amen. Okay, let me give an example. You hear even uh, men saying, uh, I'm going to dress. But brother, are you going to put a dress? No. You are going to put a suit, brother. Like our brother, stand up, brother. Oh, I'm a teacher. Let me show uh, In the natural things. I want to illustrate. Can you look at them, brother? Amen. Can you see how nice he looks? Amen. Oh, yeah. God bless you, brother. May God give you a good sister. Amen. 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 A sister that can look after him. Amen. Amen. Amen, brother. If you're looking like this as a young man, if we start seeing you wearing jeans coming to the church after you're married, then you didn't get a good wife. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, you, the brother, you, maybe you would say, I'm going into the bathroom, I'm, 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 I'm going to take a shower. Then I dress. Yeah. What's going on? So, when it comes to what you can see, it's feminist. Are we together? Amen. Let me give you another example. Listen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who just got married here? Yeah. Is there people who just got married? Oh, people got married last year. Brother Polly. Can you stand up, Brother Polly? Where's your wife? She's not here. But, but keep standing, brother. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, Brother Polly gets married ne? to a sister who is his wife. After about nine months, 12 months, they come here in this door. Polycarp comes like Polycarp. Yeah. Uh, yes. But the sister comes like this. What's going on? Yeah. It's revealed in the bride. Yes. Yes. Are we together? Yes. So, so, brother, if you have 
a good job. This is what I was saying in Tanzania. That's why I'm going this way. I'm coming back to finish. Don't worry. We said, if you have a good job, let us see with how your wife dress. You can't say, brother, you, I, I, you know, I gave an example. I said, if you see my wife with an old dress, don't ask me for money. I don't have. <laughs> if you see, my, my wife is the proof. Amen. You are not getting me. I said, you are the proof of his victory. Amen. That's a quotation again. From the message, Christ is the mystery of God revealed. Well, Abraham says, we are the proof of his victory. So, if, if I am a doctor, my wife is Mrs. Doctor. If you are Mrs. Jesus, you can speak to the mountain. The mountain will have to move. Because your husband made that mountain. I don't like it when brothers keep money in the wallet. And brother Mlambo, I'm looking at you, not because you're doing it, but I don't want to look at any, any other brother. Because you might say, brother, you're talking about me. You know, there's brothers, when, they op when, they, when the wife is looking for, asking for money, the brother, when he puts the hand in the pocket, he knows where is 10 rand. He knows where is 20 rand. He knows where is 50 rand. Well, you might think that I'm wasting time, but these are the things that help people. The things I'm saying now, they help people. Don't be stingy, man. Open a bank account for the sister. Give her the card. Put something there. Other polygraph. It's good tips when you're starting. <laughs> Hallelujah. Brother. So what were we saying? That was a summary I think. Someone needed that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's come back to the highway. Amen. You know, someone asked Brother Brown, why don't you stay on the highway? And you know what Brother Brown says? He says, not all the people I preach to are on the highway. Yeah. Some people are on the byway. Yeah. You say, Brother, Holy of Holies. What's the prison of Holy of Holies? There's a sister here who is preventing the church from getting into the Holy of Holies because she does not even have a 10 rand in the pocket. And the brother has lots of money in the bank account. She does not know which bank the brother banks with. And you say, brother, preach the Holy Ghost. I'm preaching the Holy Ghost, brother. <laughs> Hallelujah. Like back home there in Zim, I was talking about it the other time. Brother, you, you have no excuse, brother. Me, I come from Chipinge, where the, where the thick of these things are. Where a man will say to the wife, uh, wait for me, I'm coming with the meat. I'm coming with the meat. You come home seven o'clock and you want to eat half past seven. And you, you, you brought my tumbu, you know. <laughs> Brother. And you say to me, preacher, preacher about the Holy Ghost. You are the one who is preventing the Holy Ghost. <laughs> but the volunteer cannot preach like this because if you preach like this, you will say, I'll oh, look for another church. <laughs> but me, I'm a visitor here. If the deacon preach about this, you say, oh, he's preaching like this because 10 years ago, I had this problem. So if you had this problem 10 years ago, why are you sticking to that problem? If, if you overcome that thing, let the preacher preach about it. Amen. Amen. Nowadays we have people that feel a lot of this claiming. Say, this is my church. This is my church. Like Brother Bram says, there's people that, we know they sit at the back there as if, as if the church cannot run without them. In the meantime, we are saying, someone was singing here when I was in the study, they were saying, Lord, thank you. Someone was singing, come down, Holy Ghost, come down, Holy, come down, Holy Ghost, when there's a sister here who has is, who is, who is a heavy spirit. The sister has a heavy spirit. Because the, the, the shoes for the children are like this. 
But the man, at the end of the month, says, I'm going to China more. I'll let you know when I'm coming back. He brings a new suit. Repent, brother. We want the Holy Ghost here. We are about to die now. I don't know why I'm speaking like this. But by the grace of God, brother, we see the face of the man. So this was not a man. That anointing was not a man. It was not the legs of a man. It was not anything. It was the face. It was the intelligence. Hallelujah. Do we have people here who are in high school or people who are doing varsity and all that? Can I see the hands? Anyone, a student here? People who are writing exams, whatever. Brother, you can claim, sister. You know, there's a brother who said something very striking. There's something, some brother who said something very striking, brother. Brother Manda, you know. He said something very striking. He said, did you realize that the pillar of fire was on the brains of Brother Branham? Well, when you go to that test, remember that. The pillar of fire was on the brains. No wonder why Brother Barnum says in the restoration of the by tree, he says, we've come past the eyes. He says, the eyes is the last moving faculty of the man. He says, we're now in the age of intelligence. And in one quote, Brother Barnum says, God is looking for an intelligent church. Who knows what to do with the weight? We're not coming here with hapracapta, hapracapta, hocus pocus. No, we know where we are standing. We know what he said in the word. We know that he said, These signs shall follow them that believe. We know that he said, You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you. We know that he has said, We are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Amen. The printers were invented in the days of Luther. Hallelujah. In the days of Wesley. Hallelujah. That's where you find the first industrial revolution coming through. What is happening? Do you know that all that was because the Bible had to be printed? Do you know that there are people today who are doing funny things with social media that they don't realize that that, day was, that thing was just there for the believer during lockdown? To send, to send a, a WhatsApp to someone in the Bundus there. And you, you send a WhatsApp. Brothers were doing that with the devotions. Is that so? Do you believe that God moved all people because Jesus had to be born in... Hallelujah. Are we together? There was a specified place. You, you little Bethlehem. Hallelujah. Ephrata. Hallelujah. There was a scripture and a king caused everyone to move because of one scripture. The printers were invented. Why? Because someone that old, hallelujah, that old harlot, hallelujah, of Revelation 17 had taken the Bible from the church. Hallelujah. They had taken the Bible from the people. They said, you don't know how to read the Bible. Who will read it for you? But what did they do? They changed the Bible. They put a lot of apocrypha. This and this and the other. Some scriptures are not even there anymore. Amen. Then God, hallelujah, with the face of the man. Hallelujah. Amen. With the face of the man. Printers were invented. Bibles were printed. The Gideons. All these things. That's where you see the Bible was sent to the people. What is happening? Amen. Hallelujah. It was a shoot. Amen. Hallelujah. But there was two smoking, brother. There was two smoking. Hallelujah. They said that just shall live by faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. They were smoking the cigarettes. Saying that just shall live by faith. Then Brother Brown says, God raised and move of Amnonism. It was the move of Wesley and all this Whitefield and all these other people. Brother, those ones, they were putting the X on the root of the tree. It was a legalistic gospel that Wesley was preaching. They were hard, Brother Matimbe. Do you realize that the Methodists
it's now. Hallelujah. If you see them even, they still try and dress a bit. Dress up a little. They don't always come up here like your salvation armies and all that. The Methodist, Brother Wesley was preaching hard. Sanctification. Hallelujah. They preach sanctification, brother, until. Hallelujah. Until, brother, hallelujah. You know, there was some cleaning up that went on there. And after that clean up, hallelujah. 1906. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say more. Hallelujah. They started praying. They started feeling that there must be something that God promised for this age. Hallelujah. There must be something more than the car. There must be something more than the horse and buggy. There must be something where we can tap into the supernatural. Jesus. They tapped into the supernatural. Hallelujah. Azusa Street. 1906. Hallelujah. What is happening? Hallelujah. Three years before the pillar of fire had come into a little log old cabin in Kentucky. 1906. Hallelujah. What is going on? Hallelujah. The restoration of the gifts. Hallelujah. They tapped into the supernatural. They tapped into tongues. They tapped into prophecies. They tapped. Hallelujah. Healings. Dreams. You would name it. The gifts of the spirit. They tapped in there. Hallelujah. 1906. Uh, Assemblies of God. This and this and the other. Hallelujah. Wait, hallelujah, wait, 1909, hallelujah, in a little old cabin in Kentucky, hallelujah, the pillar of fire comes down, hallelujah, 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 when a baby was born, the pillar of fire comes into the cabin, what is happening, it's a junction in time, hallelujah, 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 now, we are saying it has been the dispensation of the Holy Ghost from the time Jesus left. But in this age, we are in the culmination. We are in the ending of the dispensation of the Holy Ghost. That's why cat will eat cat. That's why dog will eat dog when the rapture goes. Hallelujah. The rapture is not coming. Hallelujah. Hear me and hear me well. But Abraham says, when the church knows a position, the rapture will go. The rapture is here. We're waiting for the rapture to go. But when the rapture goes, what is the rapture? Christ in you. The Holy Ghost in you is the rapture. He has raptured you from the miniscate sister. He has raptured you. Hallelujah. Glory. Say, what kind of preaching is this? I'm closing. Hallelujah, brother. Hallelujah, when Aaron's rod was put in there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It budded. Hallelujah, because there was a continual presence. There was a shekine. How many of you want to get into that place this morning? Brother, sister, we've been on this mountain too long. You have come to church too long. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us stand to our feet. I believe we've said enough. My brother, my sister, quit. Hallelujah. Quit this thing of saying, this is my church. Hallelujah. This is more than a church. Hallelujah. We are here for an experience with God. We are living in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Do you want me to read a quote maybe before we close? Hallelujah. Let us see here. Hallelujah. Paul says here something very striking. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Are you enjoying so far? Watch your standing. Let us read. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, my. I wanted to read a quote, but I feel like just, maybe just relating this story. Will you listen to the message? Why are people so tossed about? Will you do that for me? Hallelujah. Will you do that for me? It's so easy these days. You just go to your cell phone. You can download from the cell phone. 560101. But Abraham says something very striking. Hallelujah. Remember, it was 50 years after 1906. It was 50 years after Azusa Street. And there was 
was a junction there. Are we together? There was a junction there. It was coming from the second pool to the third pool. Brother Brown says something very striking, Brother Valentine. He says, you know, he was somewhere. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He said he was in a big, big, big meeting. Hallelujah, where people were being healed. People were being healed. And then he said he saw on the other side, which would have been on his right, it was a little wooden cabin. It was a little wooden cabin. Hallelujah. Do you know that you are wood? Wood speaks about humanity. Hallelujah. You are wood, my sister. You are humanity. Hallelujah. You are grown somewhere. Maybe in Matebele land. You are wood. Matebele land wood. Hallelujah. Brother Brown saw in a little cabin. He saw a little cabin. Hallelujah. While she was still in a big tent, big, big convention where people were being healed, everything was happening there. Amen. Testimonies were coming through. YouTube was there. There was notifications on YouTube. Hallelujah. There was likes on Facebook. Amen. It was a big meeting. Amen. He said, The light left me. The pillar of fire left Brother Barnum and he went to that little wooden building. Little wooden. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Is it leaving the big meeting this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Something must happen in that little because there's a pillar of fire going there. Brother Barnum says, then he heard a voice which said, I will meet you in there. Hallelujah. Do you want to meet him, brother? Hallelujah. You can meet him in there. Hallelujah. Quit, brother, sister. Quit being a church member, man. Meet him in the little cabin. Yes, you still come to church, but you come to church with an experience. You will come to church with a fire burning in your soul. When that little when that fire went there but Barnum says at some point I believe this is another book and he says people were getting in there and walking out without hands laid on Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah this was more than the gifts of the spirit this was more than hands laid on there's a spoken word where Barbanam says, I, I long for the church where the Holy Ghost will bath the audience in such a way that with a love that the sick will be healed without hands laid on. Amen. Let us bow our heads. Do you want to be there this morning? We have preachers here. They can pray with you. But you don't have to be hate lens on. To be, we don't have to lay our hands on you. We're right there where you are. The Holy Ghost wants to come into you. More than you need. More than you want. Oh, my faith looks up to thee, brothers. My faith looks up to thee. Oh, God. Is there someone who needs the Holy Ghost this morning? He's right here. Oh God. Receive the Holy Ghost, sister. Receive the Holy Ghost, my elder. Receive the Holy Ghost, young brother. He's here this morning. You can receive him. He is more willing to come into you than you want him to come. If you want to kneel where well, you are, Kneel right there where you are. We are in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost. My brother, my sister, it's easy to find mangoes in the season of mangoes. We are in the season of the Holy Ghost. We are in the season of the, of the indwelling presence of God. Hallelujah. If you are enjoying the preaching, you are enjoying the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. We are in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost. Make right where you've made wrong. If you, there's someone you can't speak to here, find them after the service and say, Sister, I'm sorry. Brother, I'm sorry. The Holy Ghost is here this morning. He's here to fill your soul. Something more than the spirit. Something more than the flesh. Brother Valentine, you can nominate 
is a brother here preacher that can that can pray for the holy ghost to fill the young people is a deacon here a man filled with the holy ghost that can come before brother valentine comes can a deacon or a preacher brother filled with the holy ghost come and lead us to the throne of god come brother come come brother matimbe come before we hand over to brother valentine do you need the holy ghost this morning men of god pray baptize you with the holy ghost shall we pray all together ishemari mnora mani kusinga peri tinukutendai jehova maskati anu tinukutendai nishokorenyu ishemari tinukutendai baba nevimbi iso ishemari ili mshokorenyu isinga kundikani tinukutendai baba nevimari iso ishemari ya maunza pagati pedu ishe baba ye kukamshira muya mchene baba tinuziva kwazo ishemari kutinguwa ya pera ishe Asi munuramba ishe mchukombezera ishe mwari Baba kutiti uye ishe chuhova mwari Tipinde mwari mwisho kudenga Mangwana ni anu masikati anu ishe chuhova Tinuna mata ishe mwari tinuunza mwari Baba kunyongu vanavenyu ishe mwari pambiri penyu ishe chuhova mwari Baba daima uye ishe Baba wazaza mwini umwe ishe chuhova ni mwia mchene Sisi wakanga shakaita ishe mwari mwimba ipa msoro ishe Tinuunzu wa ishe mwari kutifakanga wakari ndira ishe Vari muhumwe ishe chuhova mwari Mwia wemi mchene mwari uka puruka ishe chuhova Uka zaza ishe chuhova mwini umwe wamo ishe mwari Mwangwana ni anu masikati anu ishe chuhova Tinukoka ishe mwini pa msoro pe Mwini umwe wedu ishe chuhova mwari Baba muti zaza ishe chuhova Zaza ishe mwari machaya ishe Zaza ishe chuhova naskana ishe Zaza ishe chuhova anjati ishe chuhova Zaza ishe chuhova mwini ma brother ishe chuhova Titika na tofamba ishe chuhova Tuonekwe ishe mwari Mbati shirarama ishe chuhova Tuonekwe ishe chuhova mwari Mbasa ishe Mbati shirati za mwari upenyu Baba wenyu mwari matiri ishe chuhova Masikati ano ishe tinunamata tinukoka ishe Baba tinukutendai Baba nukutaura ishe mwari pagati pedu Tinuziva kwazo ishe mwari mwari nukutaura ishe Baba kana pasi na chamuda kuita mwari Baba tinujenga ishe raji kumgiza ishe kureke enyu mwari Mkatimu mwako enyu ishe chuhova Mwia wenyu mchene ishe mwari uwe ishe chuhova Tinuziva aripano ishe mwari Masikati ano ishe Daima ita ishe mwari sokuda kwenyu ishe Baba pane hanjazi ishe mwari masikati ano Pane hama ishe jehova masikati ano ishe Baba ziriku da ishe mwari kutimu uwe Mwe ishe, wamuzo ita ugaro wenyu mwari matiri ishe chuhova Tinoko kai mwari masikati ano Mwia mchene ishe chuhova Mwia ishe mutaure ishe Mwia ishe mkare ishe chuhova Mwia ishe chuhova mwane njimbo mkati medu ishe Mba tinokutenda ye mwari masikati ano Tinokutenda ye shoko wenyu mwari singa kuniki Tinokutenda ye ishe chuhova mwari Tinunama ata ishe chuhova mwari masikati ano ishe chuhova Tinokutenda ye shoko wenyu ishe mwari Tinokutenda ye chuhova Burukai ishe mutaure Burukai mugare ishe chuhova Mwari matiri ishe Tulegerere ye mwari wakunya kutaza kwedu ishe chuhova Kalapani chimwe ishe mwari chiri matiri Shingati taji sa mwari masikati ano Kutimu pinde mburu ke ishe Tinokumbiri ya ishe chuhova mwari Kutimu tulegerere mwari Tinonyengetila mwari pangu waino Tinotenda ishe bakunya mwari kushanisa kwa maita amaedu Tinokumbiri ya ishe chuhova Bakuti mzoreze kunyangwe simbara mashanisa Mzoreze kunyangwe simbara mbura mahiri ishe chuhova Tinonyengetila mwari masikana Masikati ano ishe tinoziva kwazo ishe Bakuti muruku uya ishe mwari Kuzotora kereke ishe chuhova Isina kwa hapa kana kuhunyana ishe chuhova Tinotenda ishe mwari neshokorenyi Shokorenyi mbezi ishe ndorino gona ishe mwari Kutiprepea ishe Kutikone ishe mwari kupinda mwari Tikone ushe mwari kupinda mkubutu wa ishe chuhova Tinokuna matai masikati ano Tinokutenda ishe chuhova Tinokutenda ishe mwari mchene Tinokutenda ishe chuhova Muzita rayo ishe zo kristu Amen Amen Oh heads bowed Hallelujah Is there someone maybe who needs Maybe you have another need Maybe you need a job, whatever, or you need, a, you need a, your body to be healed. Hallelujah. We have ministers here. Maybe you can just come to the front if you want that. Hallelujah. But if you are gentle, you have already received, I believe. Hallelujah. But just for a full service, if you need hands laid on, hallelujah, we can lay our hands on you. My brother, my sister, is there someone who needs a blessing of God? Maybe you, are, you have applied for a job and uh, you need the Holy Ghost to, to come to your aid. Brothers, just give us a only belief there on the key, please. On the keyboard, please. The only belief, all things are possible. Let us keep our heads bowed. Hallelujah. People have knees, different knees. Sister, just bow your head, brother. Bow your head.